Hi guys, it's me Annie and I'm back with another video. Welcome to Annie's Creations. Today I'm going to cook in my kitchen and I'll be making some cream of mushroom chicken. So join me and let's start cooking. For today I'll be making cream of mushroom chicken inside my multi cooker. You can call it an instant pot. I'm using the crock pot version. For this recipe, it is very simple. You just need a few ingredients. And these I always have in stock in our house. So this is an easy go-to recipe. You will need three to four chicken breasts. Because I've got really large chicken breasts, I'm using three. You will need some salt and pepper to taste some cream of mushroom soup you will need two tablespoons of butter three tablespoons of cream cheese and then you will need a cup of milk if you do not prefer to use whole milk you can use cream or you can even use plain unsweetened yogurt and you will need two tablespoons of olive oil now this recipe you can do in the multi cooker or you can do it in your slow cooker in this slow cooker you cook this on low for eight hours or you can cook it on high for four hours in the multi cooker you do need to add a little bit of liquid to help it to come to pressure so I'll be adding half a cup of water as well so for the chicken you can decide to put it in whole and shred it afterwards or like me I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces with my handy scissors and then it's so easy I don't even need to shred it afterwards so that's for me the easiest way to go but do what you prefer i'm going to cut up this chicken and we'll start assembling it inside my multi cooker we are starting off with adding two tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of the pan so i just guess about two tablespoons that should do it now I'm going to add my three cut up chicken breasts into my pot next I'll be adding some salt and pepper to taste and for those of you who would like to know I'm using sea salt then I'm going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup so basically it's like a dump and go then I'll be adding two tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of cream cheese just add all of that into your pot and now I'll be adding one cup of milk this is whole milk 
you can swap this out for a cup of cream or a cup of plain yogurt just going to mix this up a little bit and because I'm going to cook it in the multi cooker I will be adding just a little bit of water extra so that it's got enough liquid to come to pressure so just about a quarter cup to half a cup of water now I'll just mix this through a little bit and then we are ready to put the lid on and start cooking. I'll pop this lid on, lock it and make sure this valve on the top is on sealing. Now because I'm using raw chicken, it goes a bit quicker. I'm going to cook it on high pressure for 20 minutes. But you can use frozen chicken, just cook it a little bit longer for 27 minutes. For this, we're going to press the pressure cook button and we're going to bring it down to 20 minutes to cook and then we are ready to cook so we press start the pot will start to heat up and then come to pressure and we'll cook for 20 minutes the timer will count down and after 20 minutes you will have a lovely cream of mushroom chicken meal so as soon as it's done cooking this pressure cooker automatically goes to the keep warm setting so for this i will leave it on the keep warm setting and this will help it natural release for 10 minutes and then i will open the valve remove any leftover steam and then i will open it so let's just wait 10 more minutes and then this counter will start counting up to 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Now you can see I have let it natural release for 10 minutes. I'm going to open up the valve on the top and just release the rest of the steam that's left. As you can see, there's quite a bit of steam left after 10 minutes. So I'll just let it go all the way and then if it's ready, I will open the lid and show you what a lovely meal we've got. Now all the steam is out. As you can see, I'm ready to unlock the lid and take it off. And I will show you how delicious this meal looks. If you want the sauce a little bit thicker, you can thicken it by doing um, a little cornstarch slurry. And I will show you how to do that because I am going to thicken this sauce. Okay, for this cornstarch slurry, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon of water. Just add the one tablespoon of water to it and then I'll just mix it all together. Until it's a nice slurry. And this I will add to the pot and then we'll just press the sauté button to heat up the pot a little bit so that we can cook the cornstarch into this delicious meal and then it will also thicken the sauce. So now that I've got the cornstarch nicely mixed into the water 
I will just pour it straight into the pot and mix it through. I'm going to press the saute button and I'll press start and the pot will start heating up and then I will just keep stirring until this mixture gets thickened. This will just take a minute or two. I will be having mine on my delicious brown rice and quinoa. So give this recipe a try, it's quite delicious. You can also serve this on pasta or white rice, whatever you prefer. So this is going to be my lunch for today and we'll also be having this for dinner. I just need to taste this before I give it to the whole family. Just if you would like to know how to make this delicious brown rice and quinoa in the multi cooker, please see the link below for a previous video I did on making brown rice with quinoa. You can also add chopped mushrooms to this meal before cooking and that will give it more of a delicious mushroom flavor. I didn't have any on hand today so I had to leave it out this time. We had a lovely meal and everyone gave it a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. That's all I have for you today so I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now!